Derivant acrylic. What is it? Who uses it? How do you use it? What's on the label? I hope to answer all these questions for you. So to begin with, derivant acrylic is an artist grade acrylic. What does that mean? It means that it contains only artist grade pigments. What are artist grade pigments? Artist grade pigments are pigments that will not fade when they're subjected to light or UV light for many, many decades, if not centuries. They've all been tested, they all have a rating. Together with a binder that adheres those light fast pigments to the canvas, acrylic, that is archival. In other words, it won't break down over many, many decades or centuries. So therefore, the paintings that you do with these paints will last as long as anything else out there on the market. The fantastic thing about the Derivan acrylic range is there is 24 colours. Now there are many other ranges with a lot more colours, but these 24 colours cover the full spectrum and they are all one price. Quite often with other ranges you will find that there are different price series and these series are related to the pigment cost without including some of those more expensive pigments that push the whole cost of the range up. So in summary, with the Derivan acrylic, you're getting a full-blown professional artist paint at a more reasonable price. Another benefit of only 24 colours is it becomes less confusing, especially for those artists just starting out with colour mixing and trying to work out what colours to incorporate and what colours to mix to get secondary and, and tertiary colours. The benefit of the range of colours in Derivan Acrylic is that it has the full spectrum but limits the number so it's not confusing, especially for people that are just starting to work on colour mixing and colour theory. So now, what does the label mean? Firstly, you'll notice on the label there is a swatch of colour. That is the real colour. That is the colour that is actually in the tube. So you can see what it's going to look like when it's dry. Below that is the actual name of the colour. And that is for all those bilingual people. It's in several different languages. Below that, you'll notice, is the pigment number. So for instance, for a yellow, it might be PY83. That's pigment yellow 83. If you Google it, you'll find out what the actual chemical composition of that pigment is. You can do that by using the pigment numbers. Below that will be either a white square, a black square, or a half crossed out square. And that signifies transparent for the white square, opaque for the black square, and semi-opaque uh, for the, the half half. Now what I mean about transparent, semi-opaque and opaque is what the pigments actually look like under a microscope but also when you paint them out. So for instance a transparent colour, if you put it down over an opaque colour you'll actually probably see some of that opaque colour coming through from underneath. Opaque you can't see through, transparent you can. Next to that you might also notice the initials ASTM and it'll have ASTM 1 or 2. As we talked about before, that's the light fast rating of the actual pigment. 1 being the most light fast, 2 still being acceptable for uh, artists and it goes down to about 6 which are very fugitive colours which will fade very quickly. You'll find Derivan Acrylic only contains ASTM rated 1 or 2 pigments. On the back of the tube there's other bits and pieces like the barcode, the batch number and it's made in Australia of course. Uh, you'll also notice the vehicle and it's a copolymer acrylic emulsion. That of course is the acrylic name uh, of the binder, um, the glue agent of the, of the paint. So if you're new to painting, Derivan acrylics really are the best paints certainly to start out with. You can stick with them as well. If you want to try watercolour technique, you can just add water to the paint 
and have a go. You can use spreader medium and glaze with the Derivan acrylic uh, in a similar way that you might with oils. You can add other mediums to them, such as impasto or gel mediums, to get build up a, a really big high relief uh, or impasto effect. You can add the paint directly to the impasto mediums or you can paint over the top. And of course you can adjust the sheen level using the various different varnishes from very matte all the way through to a high gloss. You can use other mediums such as the block ink medium to block print with them. You could use the printing gel to screen print on paper. In fact, they're fantastic for that. So hopefully I've given you a, a quick taste of what the Derivan acrylics can do for you.